Hey, what's going on everybody? So in my last video, I talked about my five reasons why I chose personally to buy the Galaxy Z Fold 3. But in this video, I kind of want to take a different approach. And I want to tell you guys five reasons why you may want to skip the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, obviously, I'm still getting mine, but I want to make sure that you guys are well informed, that you understand why it may be a good idea to skip it this year, even if you have a Galaxy Z Fold original or if you have a Z Fold 2 and you're strongly considering it. So hopefully these things will help you out if you're on the fence about making your purchase decision. If you want to see the five reasons why I'm buying it, that video will be linked somewhere above in one of these little corners here. But for now, let's get into the five reasons why I think you should skip the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Let's go. What's going on everybody? So like I said, my name is Mike, AKA Tech King Mike. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, like I said, we're gonna talk about five reasons why I think you should skip the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And number one is going to be the lack of an IP dust rating. Now we were lucky enough this year to get the IP rating for water resistance on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. But unfortunately, we didn't get a dust rating. Now I know there are videos out there from Jerry Rig Everything and other channels where the little bristles inside of the hinge are able to control the dust and everything inside of it. But if you work in an extremely dusty environment, like I do, I work outdoors from 12 hours a day. I just don't know if I'm comfortable with the idea of telling someone to go and purchase one for that. Now, mind you, I know I'm buying one, but I have countermeasures and things that I'm going to do to kind of help mitigate it and see how it works out for me. But if you are someone that just, you, you don't have the ability to have those countermeasures, it's just you in your pocket or it's just you in your case and you, you know, that's it. I don't think that this Z Fold generation is just quite ready for that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the Z Fold 4 will be the version that will be ready for that. But for now, the lack of an IP dust rating is reason number one. Reason number two why I think it might be worth it to skip the Z Fold 3 this year is because the cameras have not changed. Now, again, the cameras are still good. 312 megapixel cameras on the back of the phone, and they are all good quality cameras. Samsung cameras have gotten better and better as time has gone on. But the reality of it is that these are the same three cameras that we have on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. I know before you come from me in the comments, I know that there's software enhancements, and I know there may be bigger sensors, and there may be different type of glass, and all this other stuff that could make them better. But the reality of it is, this is still a $1,900 device that has basic cameras. So if you're hoping for that Galaxy Z Fold that's going to be like the Note replacement with the internal stylus with the cameras like the Note 20 Ultra, this isn't it. So if you are a camera centric person when it comes to your smartphone, I do not think the Fold 3 is the phone for you. So just want to keep that in mind. Reason number three why I think that you should consider skipping over the Z Fold 3 is the Z Flip. The Z Fold 3 is more of an iterative, extremely minimal update to the Z Fold 2. However, when you look at the Flip 3 and what they've done with the Flip 3 compared to the Flip 5G, it is almost a drastic change. Now, of course, the internals, as far as the screen size and the overall form factor are still the same, but when you look at that outside screen, it's that same shock and awe that we got when we went from the original Z Fold to the Z Fold 2. There's a big change, and it was almost like, wow, why didn't we get that the first time? So the Z Flip 3 may be the more compelling folding device this year, and it all really just depends on the type of fold that you're looking for. If you're looking for a clamshell or a tablet-style foldable, that really is what it boils down to. But personally, in my opinion, I think the Z Flip 3 at that price range, if you're just looking to get into the folding market, is a good place to start. To start. Reason number four why I think the Z Fold 3 should possibly be skipped this year is going to be the price. Now, bear with me for a moment. I know, I know, you're thinking to yourself, how is the price a reason for me to move on from it? I'm gonna explain to you why I think it's a reason for you to move on from it. The reason why you should move on from the Z Flip 3 is because Samsung has been able to bring the price down year after year, now after year. It is almost a guarantee that the Z Flip 4 will most likely be a little bit cheaper than the Z Fold 3. So if those folding phones are just still out of that reach of your budget, possibly next year might be the year that we may see them a little bit closer to a flagship Samsung device price. 
case in point, Galaxy S20 Ultra, when it came out, $1,600. The Z Fold 3 at its maxed out 512 gig is 200 to 300 more dollars. We're, we're, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there slowly but steadily. And reason number five why I think that you should skip the Z Fold 3 is the under display camera. Now, I, I, I know, I know, you're, 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 you're typing at the keyboard right now, you're ready to go at me, you're ready to just rip me a new one, but hear me out. The Z Fold 3 in this under display camera, it's good technology, it's awesome technology, but the quality of that four megapixel camera, we already know, we, we don't need to necessarily see it to know that that four megapixels compared to 10 or even 48 as we have on the S20 Ultra, it's just not going to be that good. When you have companies like ZTE with the Axon 30 that are putting 20 megapixel cameras on the display, Samsung could have given us better cameras under the display. And I'm hoping that once again, you see, you see, you see the, 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 do you see the trend here? Next year, it'll be better than it is this year. But again, we won't know that until next year. And also the way the leaks and rumors work nowadays, I'm sure we'll know at some point. But those are the five reasons why I think that you should skip the Z Fold 3 if you are on the fence. Now, again, if you are interested in my five reasons why I'm purchasing the Z Fold 3, which I guess you can call our five reasons why you should purchase if you want to just kind of, you know, follow that same trend, that video will be linked above somewhere, right above here anywhere. But with that being said, drop a comment down below. Let me know, are you getting the Z Fold 3? Are you still on the fence? Did this video help you at all? I hope it did, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.